This is going to be a simple tutorial on how to use Map Tool for online play. Now I often hear that Map Tools is very complicated, don't bother trying to learn it, um, use Roll20 or Fantasy Grounds, it's much easier to use. So for this I'm going to show you a very simple way of using Map Tool. So once you've got Map Tool installed, go to File, New Campaign and create your new campaign. You have this nice grasslands here, that's your default map. So you now you want to open up Windows Explorer. And what you want to do is you want to navigate to somewhere where you've got some nice maps saved. So get some maps that you've uh, found on the internet and then just drag one from the Windows Explorer window and drop it on the desktop of the... Make sure you switch the background first. Uh, Schoolboy error. And then drop the map onto the background. And there we have our map. Now you can see the, if I switch to the token layer now and use the right button, I can scroll across. You can see that there's a grid on this map, but our grid, if we press Control G, will overlay our grid on it, but its uh, grid doesn't align up. So we need to press Control Shift and A to get to the edit menu. And now when we zoom in and zoom out with the mouse, we can increase the size of the boxes of the grid to match the grid underneath. And if we use the left mouse key, we can drag it over and then we can try and get it to line up, get the boxes around, roughly around the same size so that they will match up. We're almost there now, there we go. There we go. And you can see it lined up perfectly. So we can close that, press Control G, and now we have our boxes. Now we need to put some tokens on the map. So we go up to our file, add resource to library. On the bottom button, you'll have a list of pre-installed tokens. There's one called the Devon's Knights tokens. Uh, I've already installed it, so it doesn't appear here. But you pick Devon's Knight, click install, and this will add it to the left-hand folder here. They are Devon's Knights tokens. So all we need now is if we click on the characters, we can drag and drop some characters across. And if you want some monsters as well, let's have a look at some goblins, draw some of them across. And now we've got a battle map. When you move these around by clicking and dragging, they will follow the grid because we set the grid up. Same with the character players. And then we're going to turn on map. Make it player visible, so it's visible to our players, and switch on the fog of war. Now to connect to your players, you need to go to the file menu, go and you need to start a server. And I've already got one running, so let me cancel this one, and then we'll start a new server. So we go up to the file menu, start server, put in your username and you're the GM. Give a name to the the game you're going to play, so I call this 2 to 12, call it whatever you want. Set a password for yourself and a password for your players, and remember that password. You don't need the strict token ownership. Click OK, and this will create a game called 2 to 12. Then your players on their side, tell them what the name of your game is. They will give them the name. It's going to be password is going to be chicken. Give them a username and the server name that we had you'll type in there or search for it on the list. Click OK and make sure that they will connect to you. One thing I will say is that when you're starting your server make sure you've got the use PNP checked and that way it should connect to your through your router but you may have to set port forward in if you've got a fancy fancy router. Okay, so on the players map then, all we're going to do is on the fog, anytime you want to reveal an area, the players, all they're going to see is a black screen. This is the, what the uh, players see. That's not very helpful. If you want to shift them to your map, Control E will bring them to your map. Control F will bring them to your player view. Uh, you can have several maps up here on the, on the right hand side. So now, as if I want to reveal this is their starting place with fog connected, I click the left button, drag it across, 
and then reveal an area and there we go so in the player view this is what they can see that's all they can see the tokens i forgot to put as player visible so let's right click that visible to players there we go set that to visible to players so now on the player view there we go and they can anybody can drag the token across and if you want to um, show them a new area all you need to do is that you modify the fog of war and you click another area and drag it clear if you want to undo it hold the shift button down and for example that will hide that area there and that is the simple way to play uh, with map tools online well, thanks for watching